hey guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'll show you guys how i made this beautiful exaggerated sleeve and a bustier with an illusion net cut out with a turtle neck i'm going to show you guys everything so here are the pieces that i have cut out i'm using a normal princess that cut for this video i will not show you guys how i cut this before i assume that before you are watching before watching this video you already know how to cut a princess that i have a video on that so in this video i'll just focus on the illusion cut out and the sleeve so this particular video is just for the the illusion cut out i'll upload the sleeve video very soon so i'll do my cut out on my lining first because it will help me to manipulate everything that i want so i'll fold the center piece this way i'll fold it into two and i will measure 1.5 inch from the center i'll measure 1.5 inch i normally i want the wideness of the illusion net to be four inches that that means i was supposed to mark two inches but i actually marked 1.5 inch because i will use half an inch to join the fabric and the nets so after joining the fabric and the nets i will have my four inches that i wanted so i will cut out this part where i measured 1.5 inch and after cutting it out you will notice that we have um our opening already so these pieces this piece that i cut out from this is what i will use to cut my illusion net so this is my illusion net this is my skin net i'm trying to check the stretchy part so the stretchy part will be on the vertical side and the non-stretchy parts will be on the horizontal side so that the bust points will not be shifting after wearing the clothes so i'll cut it out on fold I, will, I want it to be two pieces so that it will not tear easily so i'll place it out and i'll place this piece that i cut out on my skin net and i'll go ahead and cut it out and while cutting i will leave half an inch round the pattern that i'm cutting out i will leave half an inch because this half an inch is like a seam allowance it is a seam allowance this is the allowance that i use to join the skin net to the main fabric so i will cut out the neckline also and after cutting it out this is what you will have please ensure to double your net it will help you a lot to avoid um tearing so this is what i have now and i'll go ahead and keep the net aside so i'll place this same piece this same piece that i cut out from my center i'll now place it on my on my lace because i really want to cut this on my lace directly to avoid mistake so i'll place it on my lace as well and i will cut it out so i'll cut out exactly what i have on the lining please use your lining because cutting on your main fabric might be um a bit hard for you if you make any mistake on your lining it will be very easy for you to amend so i'll cut it out and i'll show you guys how it looks like after the cutting so this is what it looks like this is what it looks like so i'll place the lace the skin net in between and i will join them together i'll join the skin net on the main fabric on the lining part i will join nothing i will join nothing on the lining part so i'm done joining my skin net to my main fabric and this is what it looks like so as you can see it is not too stretchy so after joining this i'll go ahead and join the side pieces i remember to add your bust to add your wording before cutting this out so i'll go ahead and join the side pieces of my princess that cut i'll join the side pieces and then come back to show you guys how or what it looks like so i'll also repeat the same thing on my lining I will join my side pieces to my center 
piece remember that i cut out um it, my pattern from the center piece that is why it it is two now i had now have two pieces there so you will take your time and join them carefully so you will not misplace any pieces so this is the back part i have also joined my princess that for the back part i've done that on my fabric and on my lining so this is the front i finished joining my side pieces and this is what it looks like so you will not cheat and iron it so so well so that the breast cup will relax so this is my lining for the front part it will be open at the center i will not join any nets here this is what i will use to turn the rough part on the illusion nets so i'll go ahead and iron my back pieces as well so i'm going to do an inseam finishing for this dress so i will join my main fabric separately and i will join my lining separately so i finished joining my zipper allowance i like taking out my zipper allowance first before shaping my clothes so i've joined my zipper allowance on the lining and my zipper allowance on the main fabric so this is what it looks like the next thing that i will do now is to join the front and the back pieces together i'm doing this just for the main fabric so after joining for the main fabric i will join the lining so i will join them separately so i'll place a fabric under my breast cup so that it will stand because standing will help me get an accurate measurement so i'll pin the front and the back pieces together to avoid any mistake and i'll take my body measurements i'll measure my bust and i'll measure my waist as well so i'll mark them and i'll go ahead and join with my sewing machine so after doing this i'll also pin the back part and i'll repeat the same measurement the back part might be a bit a bit tricky but feel free to take your measurements maybe after you can as well do your normal adjustments in order to meet up with the measurements on the main fabric so i'll pin it as well and i'll take my body measurements i'll measure my bust and i'll measure my waist so i'm done joining my main fabric and the allowance is much so i'll go ahead and trim out some allowance because this will be an instant finishing i wouldn't want it to be bulging out by the side so i'll go ahead and trim down the allowance i'll trim my armhole a bit as well remember i've not joined my shoulder and i will not turn my neckline reason is that this dress has a turtle neck so i'll go ahead and iron and i'll leave my shoulder for now so after doing this i'll join my lining and my fabric i'll use my lining to turn this illusion neckline part first i'll turn it first before turning any other side so i'll open my zipper allowance for the main fabric at least i have a line there already i'll know where to fix my zipper and i'll also open the zipper allowance for the for the um lining but if you want you can leave it so at the center i'll open i will join the center the center i would use my my um lining to turn the part where i join my initial neck nets at the center i will turn the right side and i'll also turn the left side you can pin it in order to avoid any confusion so here i am i'm done join turning the um illusion neck net part so i will iron that part so so well so after ironing remember to add your hemming gum there and Add, adding your hemming gum will help you hold down your lining so so well so that it will not be popping out um when wearing the dress so after ironing this is what you will get so after that i'll go ahead and join my shoulder i'll join the shoulder for the 
fabric separately and i'll join the shoulder for the lining separately so i'm done joining the shoulder i will turn this out and iron so so well I will iron so so well. I also remember to place a fabric under your breast cut as well. This will help you to take accurate measurements because the um neck illusion nets will not allow you to will not allow the bustier to stand. So I'll mark my half length and I'll also mark my shoulder and from there I will trim my armhole. So while marking your shoulder, if your shoulder is 15 inches, mark 14 inches. This will help the sleeve to come up a bit. Remember that the sleeve is an exaggerated sleeve. It will help the sleeve to come up your shoulder a bit. And this will give it a very fine fitting. So if your shoulder is 15, make it 14. If it is 16, make it 15. So that your sleeve will balance so, so well on your shoulder. So I've trimmed my armhole and I'll go ahead and trim my half length. So take your time and trim your half length so, so well. So after this, I will open it up. I'll open this place up and I will now go ahead to close my zipper allowance. I'll close my zipper allowance here but the side seams are inside because i want my zipper to extend to the tortoise neck so i'll go ahead and close my zipper and i'll trim my neckline very well so after trimming your neckline you will use your your machine to run a thread around your neckline so that is it for the the neck um, the initial net part so i have closed my armhole i have closed my half length and i've also closed my neckline so you can go ahead to cut your you can go ahead to cut your um total neck fabric and after that this is what you will have so Cross check your measurements so so well because once you add your um total neck and your sleeve adjustments might be so so hard for you. So I'm done joining my total neck, my zipper, and I have joined the upper part and the lower part together. So um remember that we have an illusion net at the busty part, and we wouldn't want our joining to be showing at the half length. So that's the reason why I the, for the down part I made the lining separately. So I'm done joining my zipper and I'll go ahead and join my lining. I'll join the lining in a way that it will cover the joining at the half length. It will cover the half length. So after joining it, I'll come back and show you guys. So for the joining, um, you place your lining this way and you face it upside down. Like the right part, the right side of the bustle will be facing the right side of the lining and you will sew it down. So after sewing, this is how it will look like. And after that, I used a hemming gum to close it at the zipper allowance. So this will give the inner, the down part a finished, a good finishing as well. And our half length will not, our, and our half length will not be popping out um, at the will not be popping out when wearing the clothes. So guys, this is all for now. I'll upload the sleeve video so so soon thank you guys for watching and please do not forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell bye